my video my guys we're gonna give a quick clean on the stock air intake on the dyna i already took off the the screw to loosen up the the air intake from the bottom i'm just gonna slip it out and then i'll show you the product that i'm gonna use stay tuned guys so here we got the stock intake or air filter you can tell it's dirtier from one side so i was reading on forums and you can definitely reuse it i noticed i had a few um oil leaks from the inside i took that part out as well and i had some leak oil leak on the inside of that not too much let me know in the comment section below if that's normal or do i have a problem with the oil i can tell there's some oil stains on this part because it sits in the bottom like this and the oil stains it looks like it's been dripping down but very little my bike barely has like 6500 miles and the only reason i found out about this because i was going to put the sleeve for the rain i saw that the air intake was hella dirty i didn't want to put it on the rain cover on a dirty filter so I bought the k and uh, products to clean it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today in this video. Comment down below, let me know Let me know what you guys recommend. Should I change it for a k and filter? Or can I keep on reusing the same one? I like the stock one because it gives it the same color to the bike on the rims. I don't wanna go with the red one. And you've seen the k and ones. So stay tuned let's get this one clean all right so we have here the knn re recharger air filter cleaning kit so this is i'm sure this is for cars but you can definitely use it on your bike comment down below correct me if i'm wrong simple instructions simple simple make sure that your air filter you're able to wash it because there's some that are made out of different elements different materials like paper and stuff and they recommend not to get those wet but like i said i can definitely clean your stock one so we're just going to give it a go and see if it works you don't want to put it back when it's completely wet so i have no rush Obviously, tomorrow I'm going to continue the video because it's all dark. So, yeah, we're going to give it a go. We're going to spray it down with the cleaner first. Let it sit for 10 minutes. And then you're going to want to rinse it from the inside out. Spray the inside as well. And then uh, let it sit for 10 minutes. And then uh, you want to rinse it out. See if it changes colors, if it gets clean. If not, redo the steps till you get a nice and clean air filter. So let's see how this goes. I can tell from the video here, I can see that one side is way more dirtier than the other one. But yeah, let's spray this sucker like a roach. So we got the cleaner right here, air filter cleaner, and we got the red oil filter lubricant air filter oil comes out in a red color so we'll see how this goes i'm still kind of sketchy about it because i don't know if it's uh, reusable or not but i just wanted to get it clean i'm sure it, it is i checked the owner's manual it says you can reuse it a lot of people in the forums were saying that they go back and forth saying that you couldn't a lot of people are saying that you can check the owner's manual but yeah double double check make sure that you're able to use it don't go by what i'm telling you guys i'm just gonna do this quick video hopefully it um it's of any help for you guys so let's spray this pitch down so what you want to do is spray the whole thing inside and out because it also works as a degreaser.
So right now I'm gonna flip it over and spray it on the inside. It's hard to see and do it at the same time because I'm holding the camera. Uh, I know for a fact the bottom part where it sits on the bottom facing down on the bike I know that it has a lot of oil drips like on this side right here hopefully it doesn't fuck it up and then I'm not going to be able to use it but either way, if it fucks up, I'll just order a different kind. Since right now the weather sucks here in Cali. We got some good riding weather. I'm sure by now you guys are gonna see the New Year's ride. But it gets cold, so if it fucks up and if I can't use it, I'm gonna have to order a different one. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to spread a little bit more on the bottom on the inside and then we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then i'll get back to you guys in 10 minutes we're gonna go ahead and rinse it what you want to do is uh, rinse it from the inside and then uh see if it cleaned up if not you're gonna have to redo the steps which is spray the the air filter again so let's go ahead and rinse it, see how clean it gets. to clean it with one hand let me rinse it from the inside out and i'll get back to you guys all right guys off the back you can tell a big difference and you want to clean them the reusable ones you want to clean them every five thousand miles so hopefully i don't fuck it up but forums and owner owner's manual definitely said you can reuse it. Don't do what I did, just double check if you guys are not sure. We're gonna let it dry and then let it get his real color. And then we'll see if it needs another spray down. All right, another thing I forgot to mention, once you rinse it, just want to shake it off tap it I'm gonna let it sit and dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll see how it looks you can tell it already looks a lot better like I said it was darker on one side because it would sit on the air intake like that it would sit on the bike like this so it was more on one side than the other but we're gonna let it sit for tomorrow and then we'll see if we need to apply more cleaner all right guys what's up welcome back same vlog different day check it out it dried up you can tell in the video the big old difference from when i was gonna take it off to right now so pretty much i left it a whole day to dry i'm gonna clean this out just on the sides make sure you don't get nothing in there just wipe it down and wipe down the the connection there i just wanted to show you guys how clean it came out and i also was um kind of sketchy about lubing up the filter because this one's a seems like it's a dry filter air intake and the knn you can recharge those so i'm not gonna put the 
filter oil on on mine it's 100 percent sure only on the knn filters you can use you can use the oil on there so i just wanted to give you guys some uh some info on that so if you have a stock one just clean it out let it dry for a whole day and then install it correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below and then also if you get some oil it's not bad it's normal i also read if you get a lot of oil coming out you might be um too high on the oil on your engine this purpose of the video just wanted to clean it out and let you guys know you guys cannot lube up your stock air intake so make sure you double check before you actually do it i'd rather not fuck it up because it's gonna cost a lot more to just replace the damn filter since the material is paper you can definitely clean it but you can't oil it all right guys so that's gonna be it for the video again double check if you can lube up your air filter or your air intake i was reading on forums and i was asking a few people that work on their own bikes so for the stock one you can't oil the filter but you can wash it so make sure you do your research unless you have a knn those you can definitely wash and re-oiled i just want to show you guys the sleeve that i have on here for any rain uh, the reason why i started cleaning the um, air intake i noticed a lot of black on the filter i did, just didn't want to throw this on and the filter being dirty so that's what made me do this video and it made me look into more on what kind of filter your bike has hopefully this video it's of any help and if it was make sure you guys like and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one Ride safe. Peace.